most highly favoured lady, Gloria. The Nativity play is a fondly remembered element of Christmas celebrations in church and school. Earlier this year, the church's award-winning drama group, Full Neck Dramatic Society, offered to perform a slightly different take on the Nativity story. Of course, at the time, none of us were expecting to still be under tight restrictions covering indoor events, gatherings, and of course, church services. However, the drama group have stuck to their promise. Over the last two weeks, using the government guidelines for performing arts rehearsals, a small team has come together in a COVID-secure environment to retell the nativity story. The play you're about to see is based on two of the 13 plays in the Wakefield Mystery Cycle. Originally written in the second half of the 15th century, the author is unknown. Combined, they cover the story of the nativity with shepherds, innkeepers, wise women, angels, and Herod. Mary and Joseph put in an appearance too. The plays were designed as street theatre, so they're rough and ready, and none too serious. The drama group have taken a modernised version of the 15th century original, added some of their own material, and wrapped some favourite Christmas carols around the action. The team playing the well-known biblical characters in the story are a mix of the drama group's experienced actors, some youth, and with special thanks for their time, two members who have gone on to professional careers in the theatre. The angel Gabriel from heaven came, his wings as drifted snow, his eyes as flame. All hail, said he, thou lowly maiden Mary, most highly favoured lady, Gloria. Nazaria, 
Nazareth, Scott. Nazareth, in Galilee. Nazareth, thank you. <laughs> Where did you say? Galilee. Uh, gallows, Galilee, Galivante. G Galilee! Oh, yes, perfect. Even though married to a rugby player, she has kept her virginity. She saves herself for the love of you, Lord. She spends her days in worship and has vowed no man shall touch her, pure as a vase of crystal. Pure as crystal, you say? Then we shall fill that vessel with light and life. Go on then, Gabriel. Off you go. Had you better write this down? <clears throat> Are you right, lad? Right. She will be filled with the Holy Spirit. The child will be a... A boy. boy. And his parents will call him... Courtney. Cool. Courtney? Are, are you sure? Well, it's a bit... You know, Sodom and Gomorrah. Have you any better ideas? Well, John, Jeremy, Joseph, um, Josiah. All right, how about Jesus? It, it's short, it's memorable, it, it's easy to spell. One J, an E, two S's and a U. Unless you're in Ireland where you substitute the E for an A and a Y. I like it. In fact, I love it. His name will be Jesus. And he will be a superstar, and he will save mankind from sin. Off you go then, Gabriel. Tell Mary I have chosen her amongst all women. It came upon a midnight clear, that glorious song of old, from angels bending near the earth to touch their harps of on the earth good will to men from hands all gracious king the world Hail Mary full of grace pure of body fairest of face special offer this week golden grahams two for the price of one you have been chosen amongst all women to do the Lord's work who do you think you are? What kind of creature comes so full of compliments and with such strange news? I am Gabriel, sent by the Lord to choose the vessel of salvation. In you, the Lord's will, a child born to redeem man's ancient sin. A vessel of salvation, the Lord's will, a child. Are you suggesting what I think? But I have known no man, not even my husband. Pure as first snow, waiting for his grace. Hush, hush, listen, and so you shall remain without a stain upon your virgin whiteness. A child in your womb, conceived without sin. He who creates life's mysteries has caused this paradox. A child conceived by the Holy Spirit, and you shall call him Jesus. What marvels, what mysteries, already I can feel a change in me, something filling me with light and life. Thank you, Lord, for choosing me, this unworthy woman, as your bride, chosen to bear your child inside me. And thank you, Gabriel, messenger of joy. It's been a pleasure, Mary. Oh, one more thing before I go. Uh, his name. Well, uh, I, I suggested Jesus. I, I like it. I, I really like it. I think it's memorable. But the boss, well, he preferred Courtney. What do you think? Still through the cloven skies they come With peaceful wings unfurled And still with heavenly music floats Oh, all the weary world Oh heavens, what are we going to tell my husband? Yes, my little Ren? I've, uh, I've got some news, something to tell you. Oh, if it's good news, don't delay. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good news. It's just that I'm, well, I'm, I'm... Yeah. Pausing? I'm... Yes. P -p -p 
perspiring? You're what? Come on, spit it out! I'm pregnant. I'm gonna have a baby. One thing's certain. It's no to do with me. Hey, you see, you've misunderstood completely. Oh, I think I understand only too well. You tell me you're expecting, which can only mean one thing. You've never let me touch you. You've obviously found someone else to pleasure you. No, no, you don't understand. Perhaps can't understand. No one has slept with me. I'm as virgin as the day I met you. A miracle! That's it! Or you've been laid by a ghost! Well, a sort of ghost. The Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God has come to live inside me. And his son, Courtney, will be born to do great things. That's great. Just great. In nine months' time, what I'll tell my friends, my business acquaintances, the in-laws, it's a ghost, not mine. <laughs> As for the name, Courtney. Come on. I'm Joseph. Yet with the woes of sin and strife, the world has suffered long. Beneath the angel's train had rolled two thousand. Tell me, what would you do? Would you accept a cock and bull tale like that? Oh, a fat lot of sympathy I'll get. A poor carpenter married to a lovely young girl. Always praying, looking as if butter would have melted in her mouth. And now she's up the duff. <laughs> Good for a laugh, that one. Hmm? My wife. Oh, she's pregnant with the Holy Spirit. Oh, she's still untouched. I'm sure. Nature never took its course. <laughs> what an actress she is, they'll say. Yeah, what a fool he is. Do you know, I uh, married her straight out of school. Her heart wasn't in it, though. She only wanted to be married to the Lord. But they said I needed a wife, so they paired me off with Mary. I suppose I got her off the hands. Lucky, really, I suppose. Prettiest of the lot she was. But none of that. How's your father business, if you know what I mean? Clean, neat, a, a, a good cook. Hardly surprising someone of her looks would strain. But I can't face them. Friends, Romans, countrymen. I, I can't. I couldn't bear the laughter. I, I, I best just go. Yet, yeah, I love her so. Alright. Yeah. You? I've been better, to be honest. How's the wife? Don't ask. I'm leaving her. Been playing around what she calls the Holy Spirit. Well, he's spurted his spirit, alright. Because she's having a baby. E even worse. She wants to call it Courtney. Joseph, Joseph. What are you thinking of? What are these doubts? If you really love Mary, you'll believe her story. As a matter of fact, it's true. She's been with no one. The Lord himself has chosen her to be the vessel to hold and bear his only son. She is as pure and true as she ever was. Joseph, lad, the fault lies not with her, but with you. Go talk to her. Get it sorted. Oh, one more thing before I go. The baby's name. It's not Courtney. It's Jesus. Jesus? Thank God for that. Well, don't thank him. Thank me. Yet in thy dark street 
shineth the everlasting light, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Mary, my dear, how can you ever forgive me for not believing you? I, I was just about to leave you. Do you know how they say you can never find an answer to your problems at the bottom of a glass? Well, sometimes you do. I met this chap in a bar. He was an absolute angel. Explained everything to me. Removed my doubts. Said that the problem wasn't with you, but with me. Oh, my dear, I'm, I'm sorry. From now on, I'm going to be a model husband and father. I'm going to look after you and, and the baby. I promise. Katie, every win. Dearest, there's nothing to forgive. There isn't a man who wouldn't have acted the way you did. Here, give us your hand. We'll be the happiest family in all the land. Now, let me check when the baby might be born. Oh no. It looks like it will be around the time that you must be in Bethlehem for the census. It seems to come around quicker every year, that mummy in census. Well, I can't believe in you here on your own. Not now. We'll go to Bethlehem together. It's only 96 miles. Bit of a donkey ride, fresh air. New places, nice hotel, it'll do you the power of good. What do you reckon? I'm fit and feeling better than ever, my love. Just make sure the donkey's a steady one. This gift is more precious than anything the tax man dreams of. I've got just the one. It's called Red Rum. No, I can't imagine why. said uh, about the name it's Jesus not Corny. Jesus oh now that's a lovely name it's short it's easy to spell <laughs> well it's been really nice meeting the both of you and I'm really sorry about the accommodation good night oh but wait a minute there's a stable round back I mean, it's small, it's clean, it's doing nothing. You'd have to share with Red Rum, mind you, but... Uh, and of course, it is drafty, but we do provide a fresh straw and a couple of oil lamps. <laughs> Lovely manger, too. People often comment on the quality of the manger. <laughs> It'll be just perfect for you and little Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's not the smartest stable you'll ever see, but... What is it they say? Any port in a storm. After all, you're not expecting any visitors, are you? I'm ready for a lie down after all that travelling. <gasps> Leaders right. Well, breakfast is from 7.30 till 10. Now, the choice of the full Jewish, or if you prefer something a little less mackerel, with the Gentile alternative. Now, uh, would you like an early morning call? Any problems, give me a shout. Sleep well. Ah! I think I'm starting, Joseph! While shepherds watch their flocks by night, all seated on the ground, the angel of the Lord came down and glory shone around. Call me. Honestly, I, I don't 
don't know where his lordship dreamt that one up. Oh, he can't be the supreme beings these days. Oh, hello again. Well, it's all going pretty much to plan, isn't it? Mary's well on her way to giving birth. I, I popped in about an hour ago with some towels and a few buckets of hot water. Lovely manger. Uh, I would have stayed, but uh, well, you, you don't want a stable full of angels when you're about to deliver lo uh, the Lord's only son, do you? Uh, so, anyway, on with the story. In this stable, in this small town, God has come down to earth in the form of man. But who will be the first to greet him? First to see the Saviour? Why not these three lads from Putsy? Oi! Oh, and lasses! Uh, poor shepherds, with hardly a sheep between them. <coughs> well, as there's no one else knocking about the moor, they'll have to do. Lord, I sometimes think I'd be better six feet under. No sooner it's decent weather than it's thunder and lightning and rain again. Hmm. Whenever you get an edge, a few bob in your pocket, what happens? Prices go up like a rocket. Summer always goes wrong. You're absolutely right. Hmm. Absolutely. This time it's the sheep. It's enough to make you weep. I'm off to Wakefield Fair to pick up a few you or two. Ooh. Bit of a bevy, eh? Night in the ale. <laughs> a sale more like. I'm going to look for sheep, see if I can get something on cheap. A bargain! Oh, very good. Uh, why is it? The prices always go up and never come down. You could spend a fortune in that town. I don't know where the other folk get their cash. Uh. Don't know about you two, but I'm starving. My stomach thinks my throat's being cut. What have we got? Chicken leg, oh. sausages, a pie. Oh. Two Bentley's puddings, a pig's trotter and some tripe. Oh. Other bushes are available. The carcass from the air we ate last night. Put them together and we've got a rabies. I could really go a drink for this one. <laughs> well, that's what so happens. I've got some ale on me now. Um, bro, strong stuff too. After you. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. By high, that's good stuff. All right, all right, dog. Here, let's have a sweep. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, by that strong. And I'll not once want you to keep going like that. Give it back! Oh, there's someone's got hollow legs around here. Don't know about you two. But I think I could really go for a few minutes, Kim. Aye, a few minutes shut out won't go amiss. Oh, I'll let you mention it. Oh, I'm not resting my eyes a bit myself. <laughs> They've fallen asleep after a few pints of ale. That beer at the fleece has the same effect on me. Soon they will wake and find life changed forever. Wake up! Wake up, you shepherds, lads and lass, and see creation's greatest mystery. In Bethlehem, a son is born to him who rules all. They call him Jesus, he who is sent to save us. Go, get up, and pay homage to your infant king. And to the virgin girl who bore him. Just follow the bright star. Hey, hey. I just jumped an angel spoke to me. Ah, oh, me too. What did he say to you? To follow the bright star of Bethlehem, where we'll see. Him who will rule over all, redeem us from our fall, and make us pure. It's the same dream, I'm sure. <laughs> Come on, we've got far to go. Oh. Wait, but what are we taking as an offering? What have we got? Not a lot, but just take what you've got. If he's really God's son, then he'll understand. Nah, he's a nipper anyway. I'll get him a lamp to play with. Have you got him any batteries? There's no worse than having a brilliant Christmas present and not being able to play with it because there's no blowing batteries. Ah, you're right. 
is a lamb. You don't need batteries. <laughs> Come on. I'm not sure a lamb is the perfect baby shower gift. We'll pick something up on the way. Yeah. Come on, let's follow that star. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Many weary miles from home, and still a way to go, I fear. The star that beckons me here seems near, yet far. A traveller on this journey would lighten the way. I think perhaps I'll stay here a while. I have followed this strange light day and night. Somehow it calls me. I shall not rest until I find the meaning of its prophecy. Welcome, fellow traveller. I have travelled many miles following this wonder. Tell me, are you also under its spell? Yes, I have travelled far to find the meaning of this star. Well, let's ride together then. I am Caspar, Caspar of Saba. Astronomers and soothsayers assure me that this light in the sky foretells the birth of a great king. Wise men of Tarsus tell me the same. King Melchior is my name. They say he will be a prince amongst princes, the greatest of all potentates. Why does it call on me, this bright star? Why do I come from my country, my people, to follow this sign in the sky? My only ambition now is to see the king whose birth is foretold to me. My lords, I am King Balthazar of Arabia. Do I take it that we follow the same road? We seek the same goal. I seek a prince who is sent without sin to rule us all. May I join you on your journey? Why, certainly. Three's company, so they say. Soon we will enter the kingdom of the Jews. We must pay respect to Herod, the ruler. Tell him the good news. Herod the Great, Lord of all lords. Everywhere I look, the land is mine. Fine cities, fair villages, busy farms. Cavalry, bowmen, men at arms. All must pay allegiance to me and more. All must be tithed and taxed this year as before. All I desire. Yet something disquiets me. I hear strange tales, stories of odd portents, murmurs of dissatisfaction. Nothing to put a finger on, nothing concrete, but a feeling. We must be vigilant! King Caspar of Saba. Oh. King Melchior of Tarsus. King Balthazar of Arabia. Welcome, welcome, but please sit, sit. Oh, this is indeed an honour to receive not just one dignitary, but three, some refreshment. You seem weary. You must have travelled far. Tea, bourbon, biscuit. I only stock biscuits with a royal connection. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm clean out of Garibaldi. <laughs> we have travelled by separate ways following a star. A star that shines like a beacon from afar. A beacon? We all agree it's the fulfilment of an ancient prophecy. A prophecy? I see. We seek safe passage through your realm to celebrate a royal birth. A great prince will be born under the brilliant star. A king of kings, sent to rule over every nation near or far. A king of kings, a prince of peace, a gentleman, you interest me mightily. And wherever will you find this a prodigy? Well, we don't know, but when the star stops, we believe that there we will find him. Well, gentlemen, noble monarchs, 
If this come true and you do indeed find this infant potentate, please do me the honour of returning here at once so that I might pay a homage to one so great. Of course, of course. Goes without saying. Now, noble friends, I will not delay your mission. Go with my blessing. I await your return with the greatest of interest. I hope you bring back the best of news. A king of kings, a prince of princes, a king of Jews, an infant born to rule the world. And where does that leave me? I will track him down, dispose of him before he can do any harm. I will not alarm them, though. Mustn't appear too anxious. I will pay him homage, and then when they have gone, I will pay him homage in a different way. <laughs> yes. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, oh, come. treasure. And when you're older, we'll have a part together. Hail, sovereign saviour, full of favour. You have sought us, a bunch of scruffy-looking shepherds from Pudsey. That is so sweet. Now, put your hand out. I brought you a ball. And when you're older, play with all. We'll get thee to Headingley. We could really do with a new fast bowler. Yes, we all do. Right. Thank you all. These gifts, though small, mean more than pearls and rubies. We will always remember you. Farewell, lady, so fair to behold. What grace we have found. Saviour of the world, come for us. That's wonderful. Nay, incredible. <laughs> to sing, we are bound. No, no, no.
beautiful of all sights, mother, child, serenity. We have come to see the fulfilment of an ancient prophecy. Permit me, I am Balthazar, come from afar, Arabia to be exact. Together we have followed the brightest star to where he lay. He who is prophesied to reign over all. An unworthy gift, a small token, gold fit for a future king. I bring a humble gift of incense, fit for one who will be worshipped. I bring the simplest gift of all three, myrrh, the darkest herb foretelling death from a bitter tree. Good Lord, you have journeyed many weary miles to see this miracle. Faithfully, you followed the light the Lord gave you. Your lives will be changed completely by this night. Now, you must go directly home. You must not pass go. You must not collect 200 shekels or buy a hotel in the old Ken... Oh, so, sorry, no, that, that's Monopoly. Uh, above all, you must avoid the court of King Herod, for he will surely try and kill this newborn. A tyrant does not give up his crown easily. And I'm not talking about the American election. No, uh... Pin back your lug holes, because I'm about to do it again. You must prove that not only are you a good bloke, but you're an even better husband. The life of your young family depends on it. Now, saddle up, red rum, and uh, take your wife and child to safety. You must do this now. King Herod will kill all without mercy, until the child who ranks above his earthly power is no more. I'm sure that this must be true. I, I will do as you say. Mary, my dear, we must prepare to leave. Now, sir, where does safety lie? Egypt, where Herod's evil hand has no command. Prepare yourselves, and I will journey with you. Mary's my mum's niece, which I suppose makes Jesus and I uh, second cousins or something. But let me tell you this, that Jesus is a special one. I'm merely here just to sing his praises. He is truly the Son of God, come to live here on this earth. Be prepared for the coming of the one whose bootlaces I'm not fit to fasten. I'll leave you with this advice. Listen, prepare yourselves, think on. Nowhere. 